Welcome back to Norway. It's time for the second leg, but just before we do that, uh, I have a little bit more transfer news. Now, Lotfi might well be signing. We're waiting for a work permit, so fingers crossed. Uh, had to pay him a bit more on the wages than I really wanted, and the negotiations weren't really negotiations at all. Um, <laughs> there were two sides telling each other exactly what they wanted until eventually they sort of caved and came down about 40 grand. Um, now, I do also have uh, a bid in for Sander Andrum Albert, who is a good 23-year-old Norwegian centre-back. And if he comes in, then I will be looking to move um, the Colombian on, what was his name, Ingenito, um, just to make the side a bit more Norwegian again. And he's at least as good as Ingenito and has a bit more um, potential left in him. So that would be useful. And then we've got uh, this lad. There's a few clubs in for him, but we thought we'd join the, the hunt. He looks like a, a potentially good central midfielder and we're a bit short on those in the B team. So but we'd give him a go as well. Now, what we need to do is get to here. We've got our one goal lead from the first leg, of course. And they look like they're playing the same way. We do have a bit of a problem at left back, although given how Heimerbach played in the last game, possibly not so much of a problem. His booking, turns out, got him suspended. So we've had to shift Hendricks over to the left wing back role, which, to be fair, he did for a lot of the end of last season anyway, so it's not like he doesn't know what he's doing over there. And that's brought Johansson in. I was going to start um, Bissagio, but he's gone down ill so Hagen is back in so our bench is looking very uh, thin got two gaps in it uh, but other than that we're going to go with the same starting lineup and formation as last time okay Ashton Muir don't worry about him being physically stronger just run past him very quickly okay this has got deja vu. People complaining about other people's strengths and Hagen starting. Got a horrible feeling that's the way we sort of got introduced to the Copenhagen game, and that was a terrible first half. So we shall see. Right. Okay. Okay. He's gained confidence, faith in the defence. Right. Well, let's go. Got a one-goal lead, boys. Uh, and I've suddenly realised I have gone out attacking so maybe we'll drop that back to positive straight off the bat in our blue white and red kit again today back in the home shirts and yeah let's drop that back down to positive just to begin with let's go back up to attacking oh hello Hawkins straight in oh didn't quite find tag in the middle had a good positive start though. All right, come on boys. Let's give ourselves a good performance. Well, we've got an earlier shot away than we did last time. Took us about half an hour last time, didn't it? Okay, hold the encouragement call. See what happens from this. I'll go over here. No. Come on, come on. Don't let him run that far. Oh, well done, Muir. There you go. See? I don't know if it's the same man you were worried about, Muir, but you know, you got you got in there. You out muscled him. Chrisan, Hawkins. No. Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, Hawkins has won it back again. Uh, just get a bloody cross in. Or just give it to Hogan and let him score the goal. 
One nil. <clears throat> Messi. I'll grant you, but we'll take it. Hagen only in the lineup because Bessaggio got injured, or well, fell ill. <clears throat> but justifying his selection, and it's nice to know that we've got two players who maybe will just battle each other and push each other for for you know playing time. Make sure you're playing well because we've probably got someone on the bench who's good enough to replace you. Always a nice thing to have in a squad, although of course keeping them all happy is another thing. Footballers being what they are. Whingy little blighters. <clears throat> Come on, Chrisanne, there we go. Good lad. Gets it to Halvorsen. Odd ball, but Hagen recovers it. Oh, for heaven's sake. Right, want it back again. <clears throat> right, remember boys, we are playing in blue. Playing in the, the, the dark blue shirts, lads. That is a hell of a finish, but there is no, no way that that goal should ever have been scored. We had the ball so often, you gave it away so many different ways. Don't do it. And also, there's like three of you in there. How does none of you stop him getting that shot in? Really not happy with conceding that goal. So our two goal advantage has gone. Yeah, you can be as unhappy as you like, boys. I'm not happy with that goal. I'm making it known. You know how this works by now. Enough of you have been here long enough that you should have told the ones who haven't that you're going to get shouted at if you do stupid things. <clears throat> okay. Now, I have had a little bit of a tweak of the corners, finally. And now we've got two different setups. Both of whom have a man stood short, so they can't tell whether we're going to play it short or whip it into the near post. So they both basically look exactly the same. So hopefully, right, remember, blue shirts, boys, blue shirts. <clears throat> um, so yeah, hopefully we can get some bodies in that near post, fire it in there, and hey, Hal Wilson, good lad. <clears throat> Ashton Muir with his assist. Right, let's keep doing this, lads. This this is good. See when you see what happens when you actually pass it to each other, rather than desperately trying to give it away. That was nicely cut back, and Halvorsen burst onto it. And we have dominated this game, and yet again have conceded a goal from the only shot they've had. <clears throat> Probably rather you'd brought that down and then just thumped it clear tag, to be perfectly honest, but... Okay, yeah, I kind of like that. Only nothing's really happened in this highlight so far, so I'm slightly worried now that something is going to happen. Oh, <clears throat> Hawkins cuts it out. Okay, Chrisan, Hawkins. There you go. Tag. Oh, nicely done by tag. Chrisan gets it through to Hawkins. Oh, he's gone for it himself. Probably needed to pull that back. I'll try to. Right. <clears throat> and, oh, one other little bit of uh, news. Relatively inconsequential in and of itself, but it warmed my heart when I saw it. Um, our under-19s, who are still in the UEFA under-19s um, Champions Cup, or whatever it's called, that we're in, uh, knocked Tottenham's under-19s out on penalties. So, yeah, I wasn't expecting us to get through that game at all, but we drew 0-0 and beat them on penalties. So, yay. Good stuff. Right, don't slack off, boys. Let's not slack off. Right, okay. You're doing all right. Find another gear. Okay, Ingenito is playing like an absolute plum. So, let's get Burst add on. Not the sort of time you want to be doing that, Ingenito, being as I have got your replacement in the pipe work. I would be really trying to play very well and make it look like... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Did, did we just see the same thing there? Did Muir just play that out for no apparent reason? 
How strange. Uh, that's not good. Could have won this back by now. And, oh, he's missed it. He should have at least got it on target. That was not good. Right. Okay. Doesn't seem to be any momentum in this half so far. Which is a bit weird. Come on, Muir. Oh, go on. Play it out. There we go. Hawkins. Finish. Oh, Hawkins. Needed a better first touch, really. Took him too far, I think. Allowed the defender to get in there. Okay, swing it into that near post again. Halvorsen. No. Okay. Okay, headed clear, but it's coming back in. Oh, my word. I don't think you needed to panic and give away the corner there, lads. There was no one near you. You could have sorted that out without giving away a corner. Okay, Hawkins heads clear. And then wins the ball back. Uh, right. Okay, let's, let's demand a little more. I think we've slacked off, boys. And Tag is not having his best day up front. So uh, let's get Lamage up there. That's the only change I want to make at the moment. Okay, that central defensive partnership of theirs is not playing all that well. If we can get Lamage involved, get him in there. Um, actually, bearing that in mind, let's try focusing through the middle a bit. Because we've got numbers in the middle, our central midfielders are playing well, and their central defensive partnership is not playing particularly well. So let's try and focus on what is not working for them. And the first thing that happens is it goes out wide. He's going to get sent off for a second yellow. Hawkins hopefully was faking the injury. Um, right, okay, just before this throw in, uh, right, back AF can come on for Muir and Grong, who may be moving back to um, the ball winning midfield role because someone we had out on loan has got injured so we've been able to recall him and in a couple of months time when he's fit we might be able to move him into the first team squad and Solond will probably drop out of the first team squad and um, Gronk can then go ball winning midfielder because the one coming back is an advanced playmaker so lots of little little tweaks possible um, but we'll get a couple of tired players off the pitch Muir has gone down hurt which fortunately he's about to be replaced anyway it's flashed across there Muir looks in pain and has been replaced uh, hang on let me just have a, a look yep potential thigh injury well back AF played all right in those friendlies I think admittedly against terrible opposition but he's you know it's not a bad player Russian Norwegian uh, apparently Okay, Hendricks is tired, but we have no other options at left back. So you're going to have to suck it up, Hendricks, I'm afraid. And. Uh, let's give Solon some game time, why not? Let's try him out in there. The youngster. What was he, 16 or something? Uh, 17. 17-year-old Eric Solund coming in for his European debut. Okay. Right. Remember, we're two goals up on aggregate, boys. But let's not do anything stupid like conceding a goal and making things nervous. Good save, Elborg. What was it? Oh, no, it was offside anyway. Right, okay, let's just let's just kill this game off. Focus. I know you don't like doing it, but what is it with footballers now asking them to concentrate? God dear. 
Just remind them of being back at school, which is the reason they're footballers, because they were never any good at school, virtually all of them. I mean, you get the... I mean, it's a sort of thing, isn't it, basically, that if, if you find an intelligent footballer, it's a blooming miracle. So, I mean, let's face it, when the likes of Wayne Rooney are around, intelligent footballers look rare, don't they, basically? Um, anyway, a 2-1 win, solid, never really in doubt. A good performance, boys. Uh, we will come back for the draw. I think it's tomorrow, so I will get to that, and we will see who we've got in the round of 16. Okay, we're about to do the draw, but I just wanted to show you Hossein Lotfi, who has now signed, um, and in a comparison with Gumney, who he's going to be basically replacing... I mean, Lotfi, unfortunately, wants important players, so we might have to start him ahead of Chrisan as well. But we'll we'll work on that. We'll see if we can persuade him down to a uh, regular starter later in the season. Um, as you can see, technically, he's not so good at the things we need him to be good at, although his overall technique is better. But, of course, he's 10 years younger, so he's got improvement in him. Uh, mentally, there's not that much... In it, lacks a little bit on the teamwork side, but is a better decision maker, which is always very important. And physically is just superior in every way that's important and not really much down on anything else. So I'm happy to, to have him here. Now we obviously need to get rid of Gumney. But before we do that, and the other important thing is I can't use him in Europa Conference League stuff. So... We might want to keep Gumney here if he's happy to stay until um, we're out of that. Um, and Gumney's going to be difficult to sell at this stage because most other people's transfer windows are closed. Uh, it's the odd thing about having this ridiculously long transfer window that doesn't overlap with, well, it overlaps obviously with everyone else's for like January, but after that, ours is wide open and trying to sell people unless another Norwegian side wants them not easy anyway let's have a look at the Europa Conference League draw we are unseeded obviously because we didn't finish in the top eight um, okay who have we got here not really anyone I particularly want there but we'll see oh, we could end up with Genk again can we just imagine if I went out of Genk twice um okay right Copenhagen got Bronby all Danish clash interesting uh Lazio Ferencvaros would be one of my more preferred options Bartle Borisov Trabs on Spore so we avoid a trip back to Turkey Sparta Prague gets Stuttgart that's a nice one out of the way right it's us Maccabi Haifa. Okay. Israeli opposition. Maybe doable? We will see. Uh, right, we don't need to see the rest of that draw. Uh, so. Oh, Standard Liège and Genk got each other. So there's an all-Belgian clash as well. Um, well, Maccabi Haifa, who we will be playing in a couple of weeks' time. Home leg first. So, obviously, before our league season starts, and we will be back for that. So, oh, it has actually cancelled uh, that other friendly for me that was in there. Okay, fair enough. Um, right, well, I will look forward to seeing you for the next leg of our European adventure. Can we make it to the quarterfinals? Come back next time and find out. But for now, thank you for joining me. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.